Isaac's success only appeared in the first two matches for Nigeria at the 2013 FIFA U-17 World Cup in the United Arab Emirates before he was sidelined by an injury for the rest of the competition. However, his potential was not lost to scouts and it came as no surprise when in November of the same year, Udinese of Italy requested for his signature. Last season, he moved over to Watford in the English Premier League for a club record fee. During the week, he was in the news again but for the wrong reasons. After managing one goal in 19 appearances for the Hornets, success felt he could do better in 90 minutes with four hookers. Couldn't lay aid war air reports air since his record transfer from Granada to Watford. Isaac's success has not been successful at hitting the back of the net for the Hornets, managing just a goal in 19 appearances to the disappointment of fans. The Nigerian, however, seeks New Haven in a hotel room with four hookers, but yet failed to literally hit the back of the net of the hookers. In spite of not being a regular since the beginning of last season, Isaac's success insists he is not getting tired of the super sub tag he is fast earning at Vicarage Road. He said I'm a Watford player and if I get a chance to play in any way, I have to help the team, even if it's only two or three minutes. It's not frustrating being a substitute, I'm just happy to be among the 18 players selected for the game. Every time I get to play, I just want to help the team. I just have to keep working hard and see what comes up. I brought a lot of energy to the team when I came on, that's what I'm about. As a striker, I'm ready to play anywhere in the forward line and it's just up to the coach to give me the instruction where in particular I have to play. Last week, Success allegedly paid four hookers $2,000 for a hotel romp but failed to score with any of them after drinking two bottles of Baileys and the 21-year-old was arrested after angrily demanding his money back. Escort Alexis Domerge said, the Watford star boasted of his prowess in the bedroom after paying the women $2,000 for a hotel romp. But Success drank two bottles of Baileys and then repeatedly failed to score with the hookers. When the women decided to blow the whistle on Success' lacklustre performance after 90 minutes, he angrily demanded his money back. He was arrested in the hotel lobby after cops were called. Domerge, 24, said he accused us of ripping him off and asked for his money to be returned. It was terrifying. He had paid four of us $500 each to party with him, and we all got naked as soon as the money came through on our phone bank accounts. He was drinking Baileys straight from the bottle. He must have chugged at least two. I pulled off his shorts and got down to it with three other girls doing everything you could imagine. But he was getting frustrated. What do you expect if you drink two bottles of Baileys straight from the bottle? Fellow escort Michaela Carter, 30, said he had a nice body and all four of us massaged him for a full hour and a half as long as a football match would last. He had been boasting to us all night about how much he earned and how much fun we were going to have. But it's fair to say that Mr. Success did not live up to his name during our night together. Carter said his age showed he seemed a bit shy and awkward, probably because H.E.S. only 21. After a bit of chat, Alexis took charge and said it was time to get down to business. Alexis laughed and told him, we want your money before the honey. So he transferred $2,000 straight to one of the girls, which was divided between the four of us. The partying started as soon as the money came into our accounts and we all stripped off. All five of us were squirming around on the bed but after a while we realized the Baileys had taken its toll. Eventually, I told him I couldn't stay any longer, and we couldn't give him extra time. That's when things started to get nasty. She said there was a lot of screaming. At that point the police were called, Carter said. We were all making a terrible racket. I ended up with a slight cut on my face and a bruise on my arm during the chaos. I don't know how it happened. During the row I also stumbled backwards and broke the heels of my $600 Louboutin shoes. It meant I was already £100 down. Success, a Nigerian international who earns $30,000 a week, allegedly books the four girls after spending the night at a lap dancing club in London's West End. In the early hours, the women were given the details of the luxury Sopwell House Hotel, Hearts, where Success had hired a first-floor suite. Carter said we met him and a couple of his mates in reception but they left, leaving just Isaac and the four of us. We went up to his room. It was a nice room, and I could tell you he had lots of money because there were designer clothes in there and Christian Louboutin trainers, which can cost $800 a pair. He offered us drinks then started boasting about how rich he was. He said, you won't believe how much I earn in 90 minutes. Domerge, from Brooklyn, said I was actually quite turned on by his body. 
H.E.'s beautifully toned. Eventually, Michaela and one of the other girls broke it to him that they couldn't stay any longer. But he then accused us of ripping him off and demanded his money back. Several police cars arrived really quickly and about five officers came in and cuffed his hands behind his back and took him outside. Success admitted that he had paid us for sex, but he also claimed Webb cheated him out of the cash without mentioning the reason why he didnt have sex. All this commotion was more than the hotel management could take and they ordered us out of the hotel, including him. The women said success later called his bank and had the payments to them stopped. Don't Merge said we couldn't believe it when he accused us of cheating him and got the bank to get to him his money back. We made a deal and it wasnt our fault he didnt have a good time. His behavior was off the scale. A Hertfordshire police spokesman said police are investigating an allegation of assault reported to have occurred at 6.30 a.m. at Sopwell House in St Albans on Monday, September 11. A 21-year-old man was arrested and de-arrested and inquiries are ongoing. A representative for the player said we strongly refute all allegations against Isaac and will vigorously fight to clear his name. Success. Signed for Watford from Spanish side Granada for $12.5 million last July, then a record fee for the Hertfordshire club. He has struggled to make the starting lineup since. Born in Benin, Success started his football career with local side BJ Foundation Academy after which he left for Caitlin Fallows. In November 2013, Success agreed to a five-year deal with Udinese for a €400,000 fee. In July 2016, Success agreed a five-year deal with Watford and a record transfer fee, estimated around £12.5 million.